Researchers in Manitoba are busy digging up the dirt on a rather unusual experiment to test the health of farmers' fields. Back in the spring, they buried a crop of cotton underwear. Yes, you heard it right. The hope was that the harvested crop would be neither tight nor white. CTV's Manitoba Bureau Chief Joe Makashan explains in brief. On this farm, which is used for teaching and learning, an experimental crop, not the one sprouting new and green, another one just beneath. Oh, well, they're coming. And they're coming there we go. up. White cotton underwear. Well, my initial reaction was, uh, you know, what, what are they doing and what are we doing now? Uh, nothing really surprises me. The Stanfield's tidy whiteies were buried a couple of months ago, part of a campaign by the Soil Conservation Council of Canada called soil your undies, a unique way to determine soil health. So what we're expecting the underwear to do is actually break down. So the, what's happening is that the microbes or the bacteria and the fungi, basically the earthworms, anything living in the soil, can't tell the difference between a piece of crop residue or a piece of cotton. A healthy field will have lots of critters looking to eat any carbon source in the soil, including this one. It's not much left in the back side of this pair of underwear. So in this case, the more holes, the better. The more microbial activity, the more breakdown, the healthier the soil is. This experiment done in two fields, one which was tilled regularly and a no-till. No-till means no till it through, through the year, it's not touched. And then in the fall after harvest, it's left as is. The gotch, more gritty in the conventional tilled field. An interesting find in a field full of interesting finds and researchers aren't done yet. It's the beauty of my job is sometimes I get to drive across country and bury underwear wherever I go. <laughs> more undies are waiting to be dug up and more will be planted still to determine soil health in the heat of summer. Jill Makishon, CTV News, Winnipeg.